Previously on Australia's Next Top Model, Sassy Jordan landed a TV ad. Show the world I'm up for anything. But Paloma had a theory. This whole situation is rigged. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Getting me? And it was game on. Everything is about you. You're the biggest attention seeker I've ever met. You just lost me as a friend. Sophie kissed a boy. I turned around and there they are, just going at it. And Paloma kissed Jane. It wasn't as if there was, like, tongue involved. Jane was eliminated. Seven girls remain. Who will be Australia's next top model? Even when you expect it, it doesn't feel good to be in the bottom two. It feels horrible. I actually asked if I could have a chat with you, and it's to do with diet. Um, After the elimination, I got to speak with Ian. And what I really think you need to be able to do is have a diet that releases energy slower. And you've really got to work on that. He thought that I should eat more protein and less sweets. I can guarantee you, you have more energy and you'll be able to put out a better performance because standing up there you look slightly frail and like you didn't have that energy that little spark in your eye i'll definitely be following his advice next week because it's especially important that i do well or i'll go home good morning good morning Hi. jonathan and jody came over surprise visit from them so this week's focus will be know your fashion they told us that we were going to have to do a fashion quiz so we can find out exactly what you do and don't know what does the term haute couture mean Danica? high fashion yes very well done I was like, okay, well, it can't be that hard. Like, what must the questions be? And then as she went on asking the questions, I was like, holy crap, I have no idea of these answers. Who is the renowned fashion photographer who shoots the Vanity Fair covers every year? Really, you should know this. Annie Leibovitz. Got to know who that is from now on. We really didn't know anything. So what is houndstooth? People, please! This is Houndstooth. Name two major advertising campaigns that Gemma Ward has done. Um, Burberry and um, Prada. Yep. Well done. What is the name of the editor of Vogue Australia? Come on, girls. We probably should have known that one, especially because we get Vogue delivered to our house. Kirsty Clements. Now, you guys will have to know her. We hadn't been reading Vogue. We'd been looking through the pictures but we never read any articles. Jordan. I'm not sure if knowing this makes you fashionable or unfashionable. What are clots? Clots. Colots. 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 Yeah. Colots. Oh, uh, what are colots? Never even heard that term in my life. I said that I thought they were clogs. I don't know. Are they the short skirts? Yes, they <laughs> are. Shorts that look like a skirt. Okay, understanding fashion is an absolute must for you girls. And based on your performance today, it's abysmal. You got four out of 17. So you are going straight to fashion school. As a result of our efforts, Jodie sent us to back to, well, to design school, basically. Um, we went to the Sydney Fashion Design Studio at Ultimote. When we arrived at the TAFE, we met Nicholas Huxley. Come in, girls. Hello. It's going to be a big one. As soon as you walked in, you could tell he taught fashion because the way he dressed and the amount of jewellery and that he had on. So what we're going to do is we're going to discuss, you know, you girls as models, you'll go backstage, you'll get your garments that you're going to wear, and of course you have to know how to wear them. 
He right. took us through a brief overview of what a fashion designer does and all the processes that are involved, so from storyboards to design to making up samples. Okay, so once we've got this process, which is your pattern, you cut the pattern out into what we call a toile. I just think that when a model has been given garments to wear and they've got to walk down a catwalk, they've got to be so aware of that garment, not just about themselves. So they've got to know the style of the garment, the weight of the fabric, the influence that the designer had, you know, and just opening their mind to so many other things. That's a silk, that's pure silk. The thing about that is if you're doing a parade and you're backstage, and you think, oh, I'm tired and sit down and you'll just have a seat before going on, what's going to happen with that? Because it's pure crease, exactly. Nicholas was really cool and he like wasn't shocked that we didn't know stuff. Right, basic old jersey. The lot of stretch. He was just a really cool teacher and taught us about all the different fabrics like lacquer and just Georgette and all these different fabrics. I had no idea what they were. So it's not sort of a garment that you'd walk down and be shy in. So you have to be as bold as this is. And when Nicholas said that we were going to be introduced to one of his ex-students, we were all like, oh, it must be Alex Perry. And then um, Wayne Cooper walks through the door. Hi, girls. Hi. I'm Wayne Cooper, oh um, fashion designer sometimes. God, it was crazy. He was so, I wasn't expecting his accent to be the way it was. And he was just such a cool guy. What I want to talk to you today about is one of the important roles of being a model, which is interpreting various moods of the clothes you're going to wear. Each one has a different kind of vibe, if you want to, a different attitude. So it's a vital thing for you to do. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you one of the outfits. You're going to go back out there. You're going to interpret it. And I want you to come out, give me a walk and a pose. And I'm going to critique what I think of what you've just done. I reckon you should wear that with black stockings. Yep, you're going to be legs ago go in that one. Yeah, I think I'll need height for this, so you're wearing that. Okay. Who's one with the E-cups? Me. <laughs> Cape, tulip, volume, skirt. A good model will deliver. They wear the clothes, the clothes don't wear them. So in a runway show, they evoke the mood I want to put out. So many choices yeah, here, don't they? Well, let's give it some colour. Go there. I was really bloody nervous, just because it, he was there and, you know, we were wearing his stuff. We really felt pressured. I felt pressured to make a really good impression. Tell me about what you're wearing and how you feel. Um, I feel young, playful, kind of sexy. And it is a quite youthful, fun look, so I think you've got that. But you're quite like this, and I don't think swinging the arms that much, that's more I'm going to Colts. I wouldn't be putting my hands on it so much. Tugging there, it's a bit too obvious. Okay, Danica, when she walked in, I personally gave her the long gown. She's 16 years old. I don't think she can give us the poise and dignity that this gown needs. I'm trying to uh, slam into you here, but I, I thought, right, I'm gonna be really critical. And it was really quite lovely. <laughs> it was such a good compliment, because over the last week or so I've been really brought down about my walk. Kind of androgynous. You need to show more character, I think, yeah. with an outfit like this. You're, you're looking very innocent. What I would like to see more is stronger shapes evoked from that outfit. Think about the shape of the coat. I ain't going to use that photo because I've shot a trapeze and it's now all scrunched up. Um, I personally didn't really like my outfit. I felt like it was something out of the Matrix, especially with the jacket. You interpret it maybe a little bit too Don't Mess With Me, where it was more of a, a cute 60s mod girl doing her thing. He reckons it was like the 60s sort of look. Doesn't this is 60s. Bullshit, this is 60s. He says this is 60s. Sure, Wayne, sure. <laughs> Confidence is the key to everything you do here. Confidence and practice. So basically, not too bad at all. And I have here some... Jody Mal for you. So who's going to take this? There you go. Vogue. Now, the popular style at a specified time. Collins Dictionary. Time to get in Vogue. Make your way immediately to 180 Burke Street, Alexandria, for your next appointment. Get in Vogue. Are we going to Vogue? Coming up, pranks on Paloma. Oh, it's going to be some tears. I 